Hello everyone, it's Rybred761 here, and today I am here with may or may not be one of the first exposed development tutorials on YouTube. So today, we're going to be going over some of the tools in this first part, and then I'm going to be taking you around creating an exposed module that will hopefully be able to take the little Wi-Fi icon on your Android device and what it will do with that is it will flip it so in the status bar you know how the signal always goes like up uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to flip it so the signal is going down or sideways or whichever way you guys want to make it go but you know that could be really cool so without further ado we're going to go ahead and talk about the tools that you're going to need to do this. So the tools you need to do this are pretty basic and you probably already have them installed so I'm not going to go over a video of making them, uh, getting them installed. What you're going to need is obviously an Android device to mod that is preferably running some form of stock Android. If it's not, that's okay. However, modding some things may be different and then you might wonder why it doesn't work and then the ROM, the, the custom skin, it changes it. So generally what I do in that case, if I'm trying to figure out why my module is not working on skin devices, uh, I have gotten it working on like Samsung before. So basically what I do is I usually go find a custom ROM and I decompile that. But when you decompile that, you're going to be able to find the resources, uh, like the XMLs and uh, images and all that stuff. And then you're going to be able to find Smalley code. Basically, what Smalley is, to my understanding, is basically an in-between between Java and, like, Java and the, the machine code. Like, not machine code, like, not native code that, like, C compiles into, but the code for, like, Dalvik. So, yeah, basically, that's that. So, you're going to get Smalley. So it's much preferable if you can work with a device running AOSP first, and then if that same exposed module doesn't work with skinned devices for whatever reason, um, then you can go and you can figure out why it doesn't work and fix it that way. So obviously you're going to need just basically a device, a USB cable if you'd like to use that, otherwise you could use uh, Wi-Fi A to B if you're having issues getting the USB cable thing to work, or you just rather uh, debug over Wi-Fi. And that's about it. Oh, I was going to talk about So, you're going to need the Eclipse. And I generally say use Eclipse for this. You can use Android Studio, to my knowledge now. Uh, I think some people have used it. I personally never used it. When I first, like, made my first Exposed module, I tried to use it, and it just didn't work well for me. So, I just immediately switched over to using the ADT, and I've been happy ever since. So yeah, hopefully that may, hopefully that video made sense to you guys. Uh, I'll come back to you in the next part, part two, where we will be actually starting to make the exposed module.